glass ceiling may have been shattered last night, hearts are still shattering over Michelle Obama's speech from Monday. I wake up every morning in a house that was built by slaves. And I watch my daughters, two beautiful, intelligent black young women, playing with their dogs on the White House lawn. <laughs> I'm not crying, I'm just allergic. <laughs> But well, this speech wasn't just a reflection of her time as first lady. It spoke to how far we've come as a nation. But Bill O'Reilly thought he should make a clarification on a key racial issue. Michelle Obama is essentially correct in citing slaves as builders of the White House, but there were others working as well. Slaves that worked there were well fed and had decent lodgings provided by the government. Oh, what? Your takeaway about slavery is that they were well fed? <laughs> Ooh, thank you, Master O'Reilly, for, for, for clarifying me about slavery. I appreciate that. Oh, oh, you know what, sir? If and I could read, I sure would want to read your book about killing Lincoln. Of course, I ain't allowed to read, seeing as I'm a slave and all. But sounds to me like he did the wrong thing by freeing them slaves. How you gonna free? How are you gonna free people with a full belly? <laughs> See, my slave bit is starting to wear off. All right, all right. Now, I don't know what's worse, that Bill O'Reilly fox blamed slavery or that people all over the internet needed him to. For more, we turn to nightly show contributor Francesca Ramsey with another installment of Hash It Out. Thanks, Larry. So apparently some people are upset that black people are in the White House and that some black people built the White House. Check out some of these tweets. Fact check, the White House was not built by slaves. Only one third of the workers were slaves. <laughs> fact check, putting fact check in front of a bullshit quote doesn't make it fact. <laughs> and if only one third of the workers were slaves, that means the White House was built by slaves. <laughs> that just means only two thirds of the workers got to go home at night. That's how fractions work. But maybe you stopped paying attention to fractions after the three fifths compromise. <laughs> Slaves didn't build the White House, carpenters did. <laughs> this is gonna blow your mind. Some of the slaves were also carpenters. <laughs> Just like Bill O'Reilly can be a TV personality and a condescending asshole. <laughs> the White House was not built solely or even primarily by slaves who were paid for work. First of all, is that a Dr. Evil meme? This meme is old enough to vote. <laughs> Not solely built by slaves. Can you please get out of here with this hashtag all jobs matter bull <laughs> But I get it. You do these mental gymnastics because it's uncomfortable to acknowledge this country was built in part by slaves and that we benefit from their work. But what else do you think they were doing? We Shall Overcome isn't a song about how hard it is to play the banjo. <laughs> And the worst part, if you hadn't been so caught up on the word slavery, you would have realized that Michelle Obama was saying something positive. Yes, the White House was built by slaves, which is why it's such a big deal that we have a black president. If you have a problem with this, then I'm gonna guess it only is because of who's saying it. So let me try and put this into words that you can understand. I wake up every morning. <laughs> that was built by slaves. Is that better? No, it's not better. Francesca Rams, everybody!